gyms are opening. 25th, um, apparently, which is what, two and a bit weeks time from now. Still not getting my hopes up because I thought they were going to open on the 4th. And I was even advised by that pure gym who was supposedly working with the government on the date that we were supposed to open and it didn't happen. So I'm not going to get my hopes up just yet. Um, but it's good news, good news for, for a lot of people. To be honest, like I've I've managed to train very well during the time and I've enjoyed my training during this time. But it will be nice to get back in the gym and get on things like a, like a Smith machine, just a, any kind of controlled press. Although I do have a, um, a new movement in it. It's a leg press, chest press. If you've not seen it, go on, uh, go on my Instagram and have a look. It's actually very, very good. So, my morning routine. So that's kind of what the video is about to an extent. Well, the, the first part of the video is about that, I guess. So, obviously, you've seen the, the, the coffee part, but um, obviously I don't wake up at the coffee machine, so there is, uh, there is things that occur before that. So, firstly, I, I awake from the bed. Um, around seven is when my alarm goes off. I get up about half past. First thing that I do, uh, every single morning is go and weigh myself. So I go for a week and then I'll weigh in. Uh, and I do that every single morning. That's the first thing that I do. Uh, and then I'll take a photo of it. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see every day. Take a photo of it for Instagram. Um, a lot of that is just so I have the, the track of it in my archive. Archive, archive, I think it's archive. Um, then I wash my face, moisturize, uh, and then it's time to go make the coffee. So obviously you saw me making the coffee. Me and Shannon got a, uh, an espresso machine the other day. Very good investment. We only got the mini one um, because, to be honest, we don't have. We literally both have like one coffee in the morning, pretty much every day. Um, so we didn't need like a massive, like amazing coffee machine. Uh, but it's nice, to be fair. Uh, we've got those little cute little cups with it. Uh, I'll also make sure that I get a lot of water in early, early doors in the morning. So fill my full two litre bottle up and get most of that down within the first couple of hours of the day. Then I have my to-do list, so I wipe off the day before and then I do my daily tasks, so as you can see, mobility, 10k steps, check-ins, my PT work, my own check-in, my refeed food, I have my upper session, uh, my Instagram post and to film this YouTube video. So I recommend that definitely for a lot of people just to keep on top of productivity um, and just to have that accountability to tick things off and get things done. Um, you don't obviously have to have a whiteboard, you can you know, easily just do it in a, in a book. Then I have a, my mobility routine, so at the minute I'm doing about 15 minutes of mobility every morning um, to try and help relieve my lower back pain and my sciatica. Um, so I'm in like a 90-90 stretch here and I basically you know, go down into these positions, hold the stretch for five, come back up. Um, opening my hips up, things like that. Um, hip flexor stretches as well because my hip flexors are always pretty tight. I also use this time to put on some nice music um, and, and kind of like meditate to an extent and you know, focus on just being present. Uh, and I also practice my uh, my vacuums as well uh, at this time. So it's quite a nice sort of 10, 15 minute routine just to wake me up, help me sort of feel a little bit looser through the hips um, and then sort of set me up for a good day. After that, I'll, I'll have some coffee. I'll have the coffee I've made um, and then go through like, any urgent messages on my phone or any family messages and just get back to those. Um, after that, it's time to make breakfast. So today was a refeed or is a refeed day. Um, so I have a slightly different breakfast. I just have more um, scrambled eggs and less poached eggs. That's all that changes. Um, I make Shannon's breakfast every morning as well. Uh, make Shannon coffee, make Shannon's orange juice. So that's like I do a lot. You know, I do that, but a lot of the other time she does a lot of the other things. Um, and then I have my supplements. So in a morning, my morning supplements are, uh, I have an ashwagandha, I have a vitamin D, I have two omega-3 capsules, I have two vitamin C, um, a zinc capsule and a hay fever tablet. Um, and then obviously you could probably presume what I do next is once I have made the breakfast, I tend to eat the breakfast. Um, that's usually what I do after I've made it. So me and Shannon will sit, we'll put, usually put like Dragon's Den on. Um, we quite like Dragon's Den in the morning. Um, we usually get that chance to watch that one 10 to 15 minute video while we're eating. Um, then brush teeth and then go for the walk. So generally I'll walk Shannon to work and then I go on a walk after that to come back around and get my steps in. So that's basically it. 
in the, in the quick two, three minutes what I do every single morning. Um, Saturday and Sunday as well, very, very similar. We still go on a walk, still get up very similar time, still have the same food, still do my mobility, still do my to-do list. You know, everything pretty much is the same. And I'm a big believer in setting up your days every morning to be a good day. You know, I, I, I say this often to people who are like, oh, what do you do if you have a bad day? And I'm like, I don't. You know, I, I don't have bad days because I, I do what I want for a, a job. You know, yeah, I could potentially earn more doing something else, you know, in a corporate job or whatever it may be, doing something that makes me miserable, working my way up the ladder. Uh, but I work for myself, work the own hours that I want, I do what I enjoy doing, I love my job, I love, you know, checking in with my clients and, and, and doing my PT sessions. Um, I, I make sure that I set everything up in my life to not have a bad day or be unhappy. Um, and I think, I know obviously I, I don't have, uh, I don't have enough experience or knowledge on the topic to be going into like people who struggle with mental health at all. But I do think that a lot of the time it stems from things due to, you know, things that you're doing that you're not wanting to do, that you're unhappy doing in terms of a job, in terms of being in a relationship you're unhappy with, in terms of, you know, in the morning, just literally getting up 10 minutes, rushing, getting ready for work, going to a job you don't enjoy. There's no wonder that you're not, you know, that you struggle in a sense to, to one, obviously be happy, but two, optimize your results in terms of training, in terms of work, in terms of a, a, overall life. Um, like I said, I don't have enough experience to go into that topic as, a, in detail. I just think from my experience, people don't do enough things of what they should, that, that, that make them happy, that, they, that, that should be doing, you know, rather than Things you, things you think you have to do and the things you want to do. Um, so yeah, I'm a big believer in setting up your morning every single day to, to go on and have a good day. Um, and, and hence, you know, why I do do all that routine. You know, I enjoy getting up and, and having the coffee and not having to rush to go and work somewhere. Um, having time to go on my phone and message my family good morning and tell them that I love them and things like that. You know, little things that just make me content and make me be able to tick my boxes and, 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 and be productive day to day. So yeah, that's my morning routine. And uh, now what I'm doing is I've done my PT work, I've done my own check-in and I'm doing my client check-ins. So obviously gyms are opening within hopefully two weeks. So if anyone is interested in coaching, this is what sort of my coaching sheets look like, uh, training sheets, you got to check in, everything across the bottom. I'm not gonna go into massive detail with it, but if anybody is interested in coaching or feels like they could do with some guidance, some help, then there's a link in the description or you can drop me an email or message on Instagram. So, I thought I wouldn't just leave the video as a morning routine. Um, and instead, I'll give you a bit more value um, and entertainment um, going through a leg session. So, Saturday is legs, so we're running a full push legs off, upper, lower, off, split, Monday to Sunday. So, Thursdays and Sundays off. Uh, it's working quite nicely as well. Previously to that, I didn't know when my days off would be because of my split, whereas now I know that the days off I can have. Sunday with Shannon and Thursday evening with Shannon and, and plan things around that, which is quite nice to her. Um, trained a little bit later this evening because Reese was watching the pool. Um, and yeah, I, I might as well just start talking about the session. So, firstly, we did a single leg pro hamstring curl. So, obviously, as you can see, the, the bench that we've got is not amazing, the hamstring curl is not amazing. Um, the reason we're doing it single leg is, is because it just feels way better than doing both, doing a dual leg. Um, down to the fact that the, the resistance profile of the, the piece of kit is like really light in the beginning range, really heavy in the mid range where the weight is furthest away from the active point, and then really light again when you get towards the top. Um, so using a little bit less load by doing single leg sort of negates that a little bit, nullifies it a little bit. So. Uh, single leg feels better. We do two sets aiming for relatively high reps on both, so like a 12 to 15 on the first set and then like a 20 to 25 plus on the second set. Then we go on to a leg extension. So we do this dual leg, um, 
feels pretty good with, with either single leg or both. It's just a little bit hard to stabilise with a single leg. Um, we have two bands as well, just to again try and make those instrument profile a little bit better and a little bit more consistent because again it's very similar, really light in the beginning, beginning range, heavy and then light again as you get towards the top. With the bands it makes it a little bit more consistent. Um, so again, two sets here. Um, the only issue is just trying to hold yourself down, it's a little bit awkward, it's not as comfortable as the usual leg extension where you can hold yourself in. Um, trying to make sure that the eccentric is nice and controlled, good little pause at the top of the trap or aiming to get a half a second pause at the top of the trap. And just trying to get it fully short, it's really hard to get it fully short on that piece of kit with no drop off at the top, like you can get on some leg extension, some decent leg extension. Um, again, no real sort of low rep sets, um, trying to get first set of at least 10 plus and then the second set of 15 to 20 plus. We also had a rest pause on the second set and then 10 forced partials as well, which are pretty tough to be fair. Then on to the main compound work. So, hand swaps first. Uh, we're doing this reverse band in a minute. Uh, it feels, it's again, it's these, these pieces of kit, obviously they're, they're great, but for now, if they were in a gym, they probably wouldn't be what we choose. Um, but yeah, we uh, we reverse band it just to make it a little bit easier out the hole because it's very brutal at the bottom of the movement. Um, and it's one of them where it just seems to crush you, crush you in terms of centrally through your spine. It's just a bit tough on the lower back as well at the bottom of the movement. So reverse band it feels a little bit better. We uh, we also do constant tension sets, so no pause at the bottom or the top of the range. Obviously, yes, it means we have to use a little bit less load, but it, the difference is ridiculous. I, it feels so much better through the quads. Uh, it feels a lot less sort of uh, awkward and, and a lot less load is going through the spine uh, when we do the constant tension set. And realistically, we're only losing about half a plate to a plate each per side worth of, of load. Um, and yeah, it feels loads better. So we do two sets there. Again, one set we're aiming for about 10 to 15 reps, and then a higher rep, even higher rep, and again, um, of about 15 plus, 15 to 20 plus. The reason that we're going higher reps on one of these pieces of kit uh, is one, especially on well, on the next on the next exercise, the leg press, we can't load it heavier than up, but on these other movements, is, is that it's simply just the pieces of kit aren't that great and aren't that smooth. Then when you do a lower rep set, it just doesn't feel great on the on the tight muscle. The stimulus isn't great. It feels just more on the joints, and the fatigue is a lot higher. So it's generally just for that reason. Um, then on to the leg press. So we back this the other way. So back it so that it's obviously creating more tension in the press. Uh, reason being that we haven't got enough load to make it as heavy as possible. And the, the, the load we do have is pretty much where we're stacking the whole machine. So. Um, we can't make it much heavier, so we're backing it. Um, the only issue with this is the platform is a little bit small. Uh, it's not wide enough, really. Um, one thing I didn't say on the hack spot as well is, is you can see, I hope you can see, there's a lot of wood at the bottom, and the reason being is that I need more range of motion, so I've added a lot of wood to the foot platform to make it so that I can get deeper into the rep. Um, with this, uh, with the leg press, the platform is too small, the foot platform. Um, so it's a little bit awkward, but it's manageable. We just have to have the, the sort of top of our feet and you know, the corners. Um, with this one, we do two sets again, aiming for again very similar rep ranges. So 12 to 15 plus, and then like a 20 to 25 plus, um, which is again one we we pretty much load in the whole machine. Uh, soon enough, both sets will be the same weight um, this week we tried, we found a way to make it a bit heavier so we kind of had a top and a back off. Um, but yeah, again, constant tension just to make it harder. We can look to further progress that over time by slowing it down even more um, to the point where we might have to do three, four second eccentrics. Uh, at the minute they're about two to three seconds. Then we go on to a single leg press. So ideally, platform would be wider and we could get a bit more glute and ham out of this movement but with it being so small it's quite quad dominant and obviously we've done two heavy quad dominant moves in the, in the hack the leg press and obviously the leg extension so it's quite a lot of quad in this session um, I like the idea that this, this movement would give it a little bit more glute um, but it still feels good really controlled making sure we're not dropping too low we go too low into the hole it just feels like the, the hip flexors it's just painful 
Um, so really controlled, controlling our changes in direction, so I'm not firing at the bottom, uh, and make sure we're not causing the top as well to keep the tension on. Um, this is just one step, one rest four step, the range for about 12 to 15 reps, then rest four six to five deep breaths, and then go against the finger. I always recommend any single leg work, do your weak side first, everyone has one slightly weaker than the other, generally you know, nine times seven people, and then match it on your stronger side, so make sure you're doing that. Uh, don't try and do it on both if you've got one that's low well, stronger because you just keep keep making the imbalance worse and worse. Uh, then we went on to a uh, adductor, so adductor rest balls, uh, seated, dragging the uh, trying to keep the legs as straight as we can, create as much tension as we can, just dragging the heel across the floor. Uh, again, with this high rest, we're going to feel feel much better, especially with the amount of load that we've got available to use for that. Obviously, the drop off is quite a lot when we're in the length of weight in the bands are you know, as much, there's not as much tension through the bands, so you can get quite high rent because the, the tension drop off. Uh, again, we rest pause this, so we hit like 20 to 25 plus. Rest pause, five deep breaths, go again, and then some calves as well. Uh, calves as well after that on, on the leg press, after the leg press, do the calves. This is a triple rest pause, so aim for 15 to 20 minutes, fail. Five deep breaths, go again, fail, five deep breaths, go again. Uh, with this as well, I'm trying to keep my knees bent just to generally get a better feel. Uh, it felt much better for me, keeping my knees slightly bent all the way through. Uh, three second knee centric, take the four, three second fours, and then try to one second three second And then finally, finish off with just a rest pause set on abs. So just with the band uh, on a pin on the wall. Uh, just with my bum against the wall and then just dragging, thinking to, to curve my spine, thinking to flex my spine, not just move up and down, thinking to flex my spine, bring my like ribs down towards my knees and get a good squeeze along the knee drop. Uh, so yeah, that was a session, good session, uh, tough session to be honest, because I think that it was a bit late in the day, but it's a pre-workout, uh, like stimulant, uh, which I had to work through today to be honest, but not good, bad that it's done. Get my post workout, which is a lot of food, which is three feet still, and then rest day tomorrow is needed. Um, rest day off, and then we'll be good to go for a full on Monday. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's everything. Um, any questions, please feel free to ask uh, in the comments or drop me a message on Instagram or wherever you, you can contact me. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you aren't already subscribed, then please do. Stay updated with the videos. Uh, please like the video, and I will see you all in the next one.